Hello and welcome to Train Sim TV. In this short video, we're going to be taking a quick drive from Loughborough Brush Works up as far as Leicester. It's a scenario from Adam Haig, and it is actually one we've just literally done on the stream. As I just finished, I thought I'll quickly give it a quick record, uh, get it up for YouTube because it's just a nice little pleasant run. It is Zero Zulu uh, 43, which is the 0930 Loughborough Brush 2 Old Oak Common. Um, it's not exactly. Um, exact how it is, would have happened in the day but it's sort of based on uh, what has happened um, and we're just going to go take this one for a drive but we've got a pair of um, first great western um, re-engined MTU um, power cars and we're just going to take these down uh, as they'll be transferring back down to London uh, to go back into service I'll put the scenario link in the description and all that jazz as always um, same with the route as well um, the route itself is the Just Trains middle and main line and we're on the Derby, Nottingham and Leicester section of the route so again, that will be in the description uh, for you guys if you wish to uh, grab that. Right, it's quite interesting. We've got um, GNR next to us as well. All sorts going in for works. So I'm just going to set the points and then we'll go through the briefing as we get moving. So it's not far at all. Very very short section of route. Uh, just going to change that point there and away we go. So we're blasting the horn as there is workmen around in the area. Not many scenarios actually take place around this part of the route. It's nice to see another one uh, created. Um, and it's nice to see this area busy as well. Knock that back off, it's only five through here. So I'm trying to hide the 92 out of the way because I've got a flashing missing texture lamp on the lamp. Sadly. So you can see we're just out by Loughborough Station there, so we're going to come out the yard, join onto the main line, head south as far as Leicester. So it's a short run, journey total of 13 miles, which is just nice for a 25 minute video. It's been a little bit uh, sparse this last week or so on the video front as well, so do apologise on that, we've just been rather busy, I've been trying to get things sorted and prepared for Cumbrian Coast also, which is virtually ready for release, I'm just waiting for the station at Barrow now, we're just ironing out the last bits and pieces, and then we can get that out to you, and you can finally enjoy it for yourselves, um, so thank you as always for your patience and uh, your kind words on the route, it really does mean a lot. So. Following a successful overhaul of British, uh, oh sorry, a, a brush traction, shall I say, these two power cars need to return back home to Old Oak Common. Department when ready, you're going as far as Leicester. The year is 2008, and the max speed is 75 mile hour due to the significant less brake force compared to a full set. I'm a bit bunged up as well, so do excuse that. Um, another reason why I've not done videos really. Because I just sound crap. <laughs> no other way of really putting that. Oh, my friend. It's quite cool coming out of this bit as well. Just twists and turns all up through the yards. Blasting the tones for the uh, for the workman who's watching the crossing. There is the crossing lookout. But he'd be halting any traffic coming around. It's uh, traveling around the yard. Just snaking our way around. Quite a complex area. Not much rail network as such, but it's a large, large location. Is brush. The uh, the main line joins on over here. The cool thing you just like sit here and just watch the train snake its way around this curve in a second. Still quite a bit off yet. It's nice views though, especially with the buildings. If you panic just right. There's 
the 222 just arrived over there as well. Who got the road? Because the uh, the ground signal is uh, activated and lit. We're just leaving the compound now. Onto network rail, uh, rails. Now this is an Adam Haig scenario of course and there's always a uh, TSA um, Tracer Academy class 170 knocking about hiding. I didn't find it so I have no idea where he hid it. So if you're going to look in my stream and you, you won't find it. Uh, so you just have to sort of like play the scenario yourself and try and find it. It's very well hidden because I, I say I looked in all the places that you'd think it would be. It just wasn't, uh, wasn't to be found. So once we leave and, and have left this little section of point work here and we're clear of that, we'll be up to uh, line speed. <clears throat> I'm speeding a little bit there. Just knock that down. Another cool little building that was done around here is this one. I think if I can remember correctly, I'm not sure if it's either Flying Scotsman or it's Tornado that's on that. I can't remember which one it is, but it's, uh, it's, it's one of those two. It's, uh, it's, it's quite cool. My gut, my gut says it's uh, the Flying Scotsman, but I can't remember. It was that long ago since we researched the area. We got the veg out. They're all out with the fo uh, with the fotting gear. They've come to see the action. I did take a picture of this before now, I'm hoping that this will be the thumbnail, but I'm going to redo it in case he has his camera up in the air because he didn't before. He ruined it for me. Now obviously it's quite a light train. Not as It's not got the full red coach on so it will pick its speed up rather quick. So I'm not going to full on notch fire this. He's going to put his camera down now isn't he? No, he's, he's not done it for me, has he? I'll have to use the picture I've got already. Never mind. You win some, you lose some. I could sit there all day and just stop him. I could have done it and just stopped there and waited for him. I could do it offline, to be quite fair, if I decide to. So it's just a nice little trundle down to Leicester. Leicester up and down slow, which is the curve that goes around the outside of the station, around the side. <laughs> Nothing really holds us up, it's just one of them nice little easy going scenarios. And it was a nice one for the end of the stream as well, it was just it just rammed up quite nicely. It was just a nice calm, chill pace. It's up to 65 now. So we're gonna go through um what you call it? Barrow upon Saw first, and Mount Sorrel going to go past there. Um, go through Salby, and then Syston Stations, and then uh, into Leicester itself. But again, it is very quick. Uh, it's not a short run. We've got a spare 25 minutes to kill. Give it a look. As I say, the link is in the description below. So obviously we are gearing up and getting nearer Christmas now, so it's only a couple of weeks. It's just should still see a few uh, videos over the period. Um, might not be as many as we'd like normally do, but definitely try and get a few bits out there. I mean, Cumberland Coast should hopefully be out around that time, it all being well. Um, providing nothing dramatically goes wrong or anything like that. Um, to keep you out and keep you out on the website and stuff. Facebook page for on-track simulation and all that. 
you will find out there. You'll also find out on the Trains from TV Twitch stream because that will be when we release it. Is when we stream do a stream release. You'll get that first hand. It'll be like the 800 EP where we're fiving trying to get it, <laughs> which is another thing that'll be coming out soon. Is the 800 EP, so we'll end up hopefully trying to get that covered and do something with that. I don't think it's far away. It's, it, by the way, by the way, it looks it, it looks like it's quite imminent. <clears throat> I have actually got another video which was hopefully to be out last week, but it went a little bit wrong. It's uh, one of the AP powerhouse scenarios. Um, it didn't work as it was intended to. Um, so I, need, I have actually got most of the footage. So I just need to re-record re a little bit of it, hoping that it'll all work. So fingers crossed I'll get that sorted. That should come up this week as well. got the gypsum plant on the left as you can see there and also on the right side you've got the uh, the loading side the aggregates quite busy as well there's quite a bit in there you know the tile load stuff it's just a bit of a busy area and also all the trains that are down soon it covers itself though nice mixture of liveries Which is like quite a nice thing with the snow as well. It does have a good mixture. You're definitely not uh, not lacking on the choice of stuff to see. It's in that sort of time period as well. To be fair, 2008 to so 2007, there was a lot of uh, liveries changed. Salvi station coming up next. Got the crossovers coming here as well, so this is where that train will run around and go back to and from the uh, the yards at Mount Soldiers going by. I think what they do is as well, if they're coming from the north, they come here and then reverse across. I think I think they reverse back in because there is ground signals there. There's no cr uh, run round loop, so unless they leave a set here, then go right down the, uh, to Sison and come back up. I don't know if they do that. Plus, they've got time to actually leave that in there and run around. It's quite a long way to go to leave a set of wagons. I would probably say that they do reverse. If you know it, answer in the comments. Do let us know. Don't be shy. Some issues with the um, Major Wells HSTs at one point. The actual drills as such weren't working. They were all disappeared. Just none there. <coughs> Seems to have come back. And all up and running again now, which is good. It was really done because I had a big massive hole around the, the horn where the, where the grill sits, like where the screws are. It really was bugging me. Put a little bit of brake on. I mean, I don't want to go all out with the brakes to say the brake force obviously for two power cars isn't like you would with the uh, a full rake. We did have a single yellow back there, so we do need to slow down for this next signal, which is 0.8 of a mile. This is only due because we're going to the single section where it goes um, single track, then all the way down to Leicester for the uh, slows. <laughs> I 
Well, we've got a green now, it's just changed. There's a 158 that's just come off there on that bit. No point flooring it because we've got it down to 20, so just put a little bit more power back on and we'll pop the brakes on in a moment. So the line office on the left there is the one that goes out towards Melton Mowbray, uh, towards Peterborough, I think it's through Stamford Bridge, uh, that way, um, that is where that would go. Ooh. Apologies if there was a bit of a noise, I just caught the uh, microphone with thumb, so putting brakes on. <coughs> I forgot to slow down for the 20, I've just literally talked about it as well. But I think we start talking about something else, you forget, sidetracked. I'm going to move my microphone up though because I don't smack that again. This is Sysdom. Single platform, short platform as well. Sort of our last burst of power really because four and a bit miles and we actually are at Leicester so just the last little bit. <clears throat> well, I did I did mean it when I said it was a short run. <laughs> it really was. I can't remember what that um, bridge clock, I can't actually remember what it's called. It's rather a longish name. <laughs> it's literally just sit now at that speed until I need to take off the power and then we'll take a, put the brakes on. Not something I've done very much of either is uh, driving just power cars. Very rare that I ever do with stream or a video with such like this. I think I made, I, I think, if I remember correctly, I did make a scenario for the Barry Hill route um, when that released with a, a set of power cars coming back from Doncaster. I think that might have been the only other time I've ever driven such a, such a working.
hopefully as well we, um, when new computer comes and that's all set up in the next which well, should be a hopefully this week but once it's all set up and uh, up and running she'll be able to be recording 4k and stuff like that so hopefully see, she'll see some more better quality videos in terms of like, smoothness and stuff as well which would be nice it's not going to be a an overnight transition it'll take me some time to get everything up and running and set up to how I need it but um, once it's up and running we'll be good to go better quality as well It is a new workstation PC, but uh, obviously it'd be used for that as well. The uh, the, the PC I've got currently will be retired as a backup, for in case anything goes wrong or like that. It hasn't been binned or sold, it'll be kept. So again, with the uh, not as good a brake force, we're going to put the brakes on now to get it going down. It was nice to see quite a lot here as well. Uh, Let's do LIP, has got quite a lot of stuff going on. Nice random Mark 1 as well. There's a nice selection of 66s, 67s, uh, 60s as well. There's a couple of 60s knocking around in there. I'm not over sure if it was a proper. EWS yard as such before this shut down, but um, it was just nice to see it uh, filled up with locos as such, even if it isn't quite real. So, not far now, we're literally just around this bend and we're at our destination for this run where um, end of video happens. But I hope you enjoyed it. Um, link is in the description for the scenario, the route, and all that stuff. So, do have a look in there if it takes you fancy you want to have a look. Um, again, as always, thank you very much for watching. You can catch on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash twinsim underscore TV. Uh, usually Thursdays and Sundays, uh, there is occasional extras, um, slight date changes sometimes, do keep around Facebook and YouTube community section for that, I do post on both uh, to make people aware, um, so do keep your eye out for that. Uh, those links are in the description as well for Facebook and uh, everything else. Hope you enjoy the scenario guys, hope you enjoy the drive and uh, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, take it easy and we will see you hopefully very soon on the next video. And that's us. Stopping here. Again, thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.